welcome back or welcome to my channel so jumping right into the video we're going to be working with this wig from perfect lace wig it's 613 lace front wig 24 inches and it came with a pamphlet a wig cap extra combs and elastic band and duckbill clips so what you're going to need is a plastic bag a fine tooth comb or a brush to distribute the product gloves a mask and you need to wear a mask because this stuff is strong well a color charm toner nt10 and salon care 30 volume developer and a brush and bowl to mix in and of course your wig so go ahead suit up put your mask on put your gloves on all right so now to mix up this little concoction we're gonna take the toner we're gonna use one part toner two parts developer we're gonna take the toner and pour that into the bowl and then we're gonna take the developer and fill up that bottle twice and pour that into the bowl. So just take your brush, mix that up, stir it up real good. And once you've done that, you should have a consistency, something like this. So I wet the hair beforehand and I put it on this plastic bag and I'm just taking the product and pouring it directly onto the hair. I just poured about half of it just then and I'm just distributing it with my hands. And then I'll take the rest and pour it on the parts that didn't get touched. So I bought an extra bottle of toner just in case I needed it and I did and I'm just taking that and mixing up another bowl of the mixture. So here I'm just taking my dimming brush to distribute the product throughout the hair, make sure every strand is getting coated, make sure there's no blonde hair. And as you can see, the hair is kind of turning this smoky color and that's what you want. So I've been working this product in for about 20 minutes and the bottle says to let the toner sit for 30 minutes. So we're just gonna let it sit on the hair for another 15 and come back. And this is what it looks like after the 15 minutes. So now it's time to rinse out all that product and that's all I'm doing here is just rinsing out the toner. So once we've done that, we're gonna shampoo and condition with this Tresemme shampoo and conditioner to make sure the hair stays moisturized and then come back. And this is what the hair is looking like after we shampooed and conditioned. 
So to tone the hair a little bit wider, we're gonna take this Oleo Pro Blue Shampoo and kind of like the watercolor method, we're gonna pour it into this bucket. I filled up with hot water. And I'm just taking my hand and stirring that up. You really don't need gloves for this because it's just shampoo, but I just left my gloves on from when I was rinsing out the toner. So now you're just gonna take your hair and dunk it into the water, doing these up and down motions, just like the watercolor method, just like I did in my hair dyeing video on the hair that I have in right now, the fall color hair. If you haven't seen that, it'll be in the description. But just keep repeating these up and down motions a few times. And now we're gonna leave the hair to sit in the water for 10 minutes and then we'll come back. And I'm just taking the hair out and squeezing the water out of it. And this is what the hair is looking like so far. And since we technically just shampoo it, we're gonna condition one more time to make sure the hair stays moisturized and not dried out because toning is processing the hair. So I just conditioned, so now we're gonna blow dry and I'm taking my Chi 44 Iron Guard Thermal Protection Spray and spraying it on the hair before I blow dry to make sure we're not damaging the hair. And now I'm just taking my dimming brush and brushing the hair, brushing the product through, making sure there's no tangles in it before I start blow drying. Now I will say the hair did shed a lot after I toned it and after I blow dry and you'll see how much shedding I got after I finished blow drying. But yeah, it did shed a lot after I did that. So this is how much shedding I got after blow drying and this is what the hair is looking like after I finished blow drying. I don't know why the camera is picking up the hair color kind of funny looking, but this is the hair's true color in this clip. So now we're about to get into styling. I'm just parting the hair into a side part. And now I'm taking my Andy's hot comb to define that part and make sure everything is flat. So what you see me doing here is giving that bang part some height. I don't know, I just like the way that looks like when you curl hair, that little height the bang has, I love that. So now I'm just sectioning off the frontal from the bundles and getting ready to wand curl. So now I'm just sectioning off a row of the hair so we can start wand curling. And y'all, my camera literally started flashing red right after the first curl, which I mean, I guess that's okay because you can kind of see what I did based off the first curl and all I did was repeat that all the way through. But yeah, my camera died after that. So now I'm taking my Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Heat Protection Spray and I just do two sprays of that on each section. You don't want to spray too much because it'll make their hair oily. But I'm just sectioning off a piece and combing that with my fine tooth comb and then I'll start wand curling. So you just want to hold that curl until it cools and then I sprayed it with my Volumax Hold That Pose Hairspray. And this is where my camera is finna die at this point, but I just repeated this all throughout so I'm gonna come back after I'm done. So I finished wand curling and I let my camera charge while I was doing that and this is what it looks like. So we're just gonna take a wide tooth comb and comb through the curls.
and y'all can see right here that height i was talking about in that bang oh this is my favorite part but anyway guys that is it for this video i hope y'all enjoy i hope this was helpful thank y'all so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all next time bye